my Tim. first uh, OCR race in the UK. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Awesome. What a, what an event to actually turn up for. <laughs> yeah, go you know for what you've got yourself in for? Go, go big. I don't really know what I've got myself into, but I'm going to get through it. <laughs> Have you got a target to reach? Uh, I'd like to do five or six laps. Awesome. So and hopefully, we'll 25, see how I go. 25, 30 miles. Yeah, fingers crossed. Fantastic. Well, good luck and everything. Thanks so much. <laughs> It's the first 12 hour one I've done, yeah. I did, it did one many, many years ago, but that was just a normal, I think, I think, I think. Right. but with obstacles. <laughs> but I'm not, look, I'm not looking for that electric shock thing. Because I saw that when I did it the last time, I saw people walking into it and just going face first into the floor. I'm like, that's just evil. I know, I know I've done crazy things in my time, right? But the electric shock stuff, it's just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I've got to say about it. Everything else, happy days. Like the the, the attic enema, yep. all that kind of stuff, brilliant. But the electric... You know there's electric peel out there as well? The what? You know there's electric peel out there. Too. Is that the one where you crawl along on the... That's where you crawl through it, yeah. Yeah, because all the electric things can just do one as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> if I get a 400 metre penalty or whatever, cool. I'm cool with that. And I'll just, I'll just look at it as extra training or something. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not running through the electric. Have you heard you might get to do the um, kiddies course halfway through as well? Huh? huh? The, the, you know the kiddies obviously good course, Little Mud eh? You might get to run part of that. Well, I got, well you make, make me do the kiddies course. If you fail Gauntlet, you're going to run Little Mud What's, What's the Gauntlet? Gauntlet is the one that's behind you, you can see down here. So it's like monkey bars and bars you've got to get across. So it's a lot of upper body strength. Right, I, let, me, uh, <laughs> let me just tell you one thing, right? I'm, I'm in a bit of, I got, a, I had a, I rode my car off four weeks ago, so I got crazy whiplash in my neck, and uh, what else have I got? I got, I've got so much wrong with me, I'm just doing this as a bit of a laugh, so if I mess things up, I don't care, it's just, I'll run the, I'll run the, I'll run the kiddies course. <laughs>
So there we go, ETM's on its way. My name is Matt, um, from Hull, and this will be my 10th Tough Mudder, Europe's toughest mudder. Hi, I'm Matt Rigby, and I'm from Macclesfield. I'm Leon, um, I'm from Bournemouth. Going on the south coast. Down the south coast, that's right. So a fair trek today. Yeah, traffic. Not a road trip, traffic trip. So I'm doing the Unholy Grail, obviously getting my 10th Tough Mudder headband tomorrow morning, and that'll be my Fudge, you brain tumor moment, being able to be crowned with a 10 times headband. So, oh, fa yeah. fantastic. And yeah, obviously you're you're doing overnight. Did you did you hit your goal today? Yeah. Uh, so far I've done uh, what have I done? Uh, tougher mother in the morning yeah. and the tough on a 5k. Yeah. So ETM tonight and then another classic in the morning. So having done it earlier today, is there any obstacle you're not looking forward to tonight? Art Together, Art Together is my nemesis obstacle. Um, this weekend is actually my wedding anniversary, so I couldn't quite get away with racing all weekend. I'm quite lucky to get away with this, to be honest. So I'm going for the, obviously the big event, um, 12 hours, and then, yeah, see, see how we get on. I think it should be quite good. I did it virtually last year and ran 40 miles as well. In 19, I ran 40 miles, so, that's that's the goal to begin with, um, and then yeah, we'll, we'll see where we go from there. Um, obviously, I love this is my fifth fifth year at Midlands now. I love this venue. This course is amazing. Um, really looking forward to it. Really looking forward. So I hear you weren't meant to be running tonight, were you? Nope. So what happened? Tell us what happened. Um, well, recently I I've been diagnosed with uh, advanced prostate cancer, stage four to be precise, and. Uh, I made a post on social media and uh, Tough Mudder contacted me and said do you want a free ticket to try and raise some funds for Prostate Cancer UK? So here I am, unfit, unready, but I'm going to give it my best shot to try and get 25 miles. In terms of favourite obstacle, what are you looking forward to? Block Ness. Block Ness is my favourite. It's the one obstacle, well I don't know about EST, but it's the one obstacle. You see everybody working as a team, everybody gets together, it's, it's just always been my favourite. Is there any particular obstacle you're looking forward to? I don't know. Um, they're all, they'll get, they'll, do you know what I mean? There's the tough one going on, they're refining one. Um, like, I always like Augustus Glute. That was always like one of my favourite ones. I know it's not necessarily one of the big hitters or anything, but, and, and I know it's probably like a bit of an expensive build and that, but I always like that one. I'm getting a fond, um, a fond love for Block Ness at the minute, right now. Um, so, and I've got a new, a new way, I think, no, not a new, a new way that I've not done before. So uh, we'll see how we get on, get on with that. So, is there any obstacles you're looking forward to tonight? Um, all the obstacles I'm looking forward to, because at the end of the day, they're all going to be a challenge for me. So, you know, since I've been diagnosed, I've lost a lot of my strength. So it is, it is a challenge. Whereas before, it was a challenge, but it wasn't. If you know what I mean. No, I completely understand. And have you heard the mini, sorry, the little mudder rumours? I've heard about this. If you uh, if you have to bypass or something, you've got to do the lap of the mini mudder. I, I believe so. We we can't confirm. We'll find out in about an hour. Whereas we're well, recording this because there might be one or two. I have to do a penalty loop, <laughs> but you know, we'll soon find out.
and we're back with Martin Gemmel. We're now halfway through the Europe's toughest mudder. Uh, Martin, how is your pit looking? It's looking not bad, it's surviving well. Um, we've got three runners that I, I didn't even know I had, uh, but that's cool, that's good. Um, Simon and Stantley's doing fine. Uh, Owen Hayden's out, uh, we're just kind of looking after him, not really pitting for him, and it's the same with Will Catamull. They're just coming in, smashing the laps, going out. Um, so, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. What are you hearing from your runners? Anything in particular? Uh, not liking the Lego. Um, so, the, the fact they've got to take their shoes off, which, you know, just do the shocks then. You know, <laughs> just that. Yeah, it's, it's a bit brutal. The, the length of the course being a wee bit variable is kind of screwing up with people's heads. But um, if you're watching this and you're in the pit, it's just a lap, all right? It's lap after lap. Don't worry about the mileage. Just do the lap. So we're back with Jim. Jim, you're now halfway through James Brown. How are you going so far? Well, it's, it's going okay. It's a bit of a different course than what we're used to. The, the, the mileage seems to be slightly out, but we can live with that. No problem. Um, we're going out now for our fifth lap. Um, we said we wanted to do maybe six six laps, so we're well in time. You know. Yep. So maybe we might try and start, get this one out the way, and then maybe start trying to enjoy ourselves and relax a bit and, do you know what I mean, enjoy enjoy the night instead of like trying to pressure ourselves so so what, what are you good. enjoying the most so far um sitting here having a, cup, <laughs> having a cup of tea i wish i could have a cup of tea um no it's, it's just nice it's just nice to be out running again i you know like, i haven't been too well recently so i've got to give myself these four challenges yeah. haven't i as, yeah. as a little kick out and yeah. um, so it's just great to be out and it's great to be back on these tough mother courses because i haven't been on one yeah for a is, while now is it to, flat maybe. is it hilly it's you know what it's not as hilly. I mean, I've been on hillier, um, yeah. and it's just it's a, but it's a nice course. And the way they've set it out now, is there's a little bit of like the track's a little bit easier instead of running through some of the grass. But um, I think some of the mud mile when we've done it before, it's been a lot more difficult. But yeah. but it's also it's a bit more enjoyable, I think, especially because I'm not like at me full fitness. Yeah, we're doing alright over here. Everyone's kind of doing their own thing um literally just had three of them go out in the last 20 minutes which is good um next one's due in in about 25 minutes hopefully so but you, we've got yeah yeah you mentioned earlier you're pitting for jack and you're pitting for gary how how well firstly how's jack doing uh jack is on lap six he's doing really well i think he's just having fun to be honest i don't think he's <laughs> yeah he just seems to be having fun, which is good. Um, Gary's just gone out on lap six as well, which is good. And we've also got Keith yep. and Daryl with us. You, you picked up a couple of strays.
Avery did it best. Uh, you told me beforehand? I think beforehand we suggested five. Was it five or five six? Five or six, yeah. yeah. Five or six, yeah. And yeah. we've got, we've got four. four. That's good going, that's good going. Have we called it because we're about, we've are about we got two hours left of running, have you called it? Because I know one of you injured, didn't you? So tell us what happened with that. Yeah. All right, you go first, you, you was injured first. I can't remember what the obstacle cause was called, but um, it's the one with the bars and then the, then the wheel. I got to the last wheel, as I went to let go, I misjudged it and hit the metal. That was my right <laughs> shin, my left shin and my arm. So as I landed in the water and then I think the last lap that we did, Everest got you, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he took a hit early on and uh, managed to battle through it. He's, he's strapped it up and, but with duct tape and stuff. <laughs> and um, I took a hit on the, the last lap, actually, on, on the knee. But um, generally, I think, yeah, it's been fa it's been fantastic. And, you know, we, we need to now learn from this and put some prep work in for the next one. Brilliant. Try and keep up with the other boys. So is that the plan then? Lots more prep before the next one? Lots yeah, more absolutely. Runners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the general consensus is we spoke to people here and they say that, you know, you've got to do 10 of these minimum, really. You no, know, not 10 of these, but 10 of the normal Tough Mudders um, prior to wanting to come here. And this was just a spontaneous thing that I was at work and uh, looking for something to do. So I text Chris and I said, oh, look, let's do this. <laughs> so yeah. uh, Not too bad at all. Not too bad. Absolutely shattered, but uh, got uh, six laps in, so... Quite, ha quite happy with that second in age group so I can't really moan so oh, that's really good. <laughs> you got to see the sunrise tomorrow. sunrise as well yeah that was lovely it was uh, it was nice on top of the hill and just looking over and seeing everything and being able to see where we've been running all night as well that's been an absolute beaut but uh, yeah great course great obstacles as, as always and just yeah really really good day out to be honest or night out <laughs> your favourite part? oh I think Block Ness and actually Arctic Enema yeah, yeah. Re really enjoyed that actually, <laughs> which surprised me. <laughs> the hills. <laughs> what advice you got for anyone who comes and does this for the first time? <sighs> Don't. Yeah. Uh, just come, come with. Uh, just come and have a good laugh, and just come out and enjoy it, rather than take it too seriously. Just you know, come with a group of mates. The event's now over. How are you feeling? I, I'm absolutely good, buzzing. Um, I've only like I've been training for a few weeks. I really needed this event, and it's just absolutely fantastic for me. I've got, um, I've come top of my age group again, even though I lost it a couple of years ago. I'm glad I'm back there now. Um, I'm 60 in a couple of weeks, so hopefully I'll, I'll win the 60 category next year. Woo! Matt, how was that? <laughs> that was. That was brilliant, man. Really enjoyed it. I've just finished 43 and a half miles of running and jumping in freezing water, jumping over walls, doing shots of hot sauce and orange juice and going around the kiddies' uh, uh, Tough Mudder because I wouldn't go through the electricity. So every single time I had to go through that thing but uh yeah that was really enjoyable i think um i've done something with rear but yeah, any shit is what it is man but that was half oh, mega fun man um not quite as well as i was hoping but uh had a good bit of fun i'd got uh, two laps in um so i'd gotten a blister at uh, the last event last weekend and uh, just started playing up and i was never going to make the pace i needed wow. so Better part of Valor. <laughs> yeah, but it's a, you've got to look after your body, aren't you? That's the old top and bottom of it. Right. So, did, did you enjoy it? Was it good fun out there? A absolutely. It's great fun. Great fun. Uh, it was my first uh, Tough Mudder in the UK. I was super happy to see uh, the same camaraderie and, you know, awesome group of folks uh, that I've seen all around the world. From? Hi, my name's Joel Tegadine. I'm from West Bridgeford, Nottingham. So, like 20 minutes down the road from here. So, it's my home run. <laughs> and then um, we haven't seen you on circuit for a bit, Joel. What have we been up to? I've been putting on weight over over the pandemic, and I've gone from racing, you know, age categories at Spartan to now open waves, and pretty much coming last. But you know, for me, nothing better than doing ETM. You know, it's a bit of a kickstart to the fitness. It's a real catalyst and a fantastic event. So this is the foundation today. Come back next year, fitter and stronger, and have an absolute blast. So yeah, it's good. Fantastic. 
All right, thanks, Alan. Um, 25 miles today. I've, I've tapped out of that. I've got. I'm doing Unholy Grail, which is doing a tougher, uh, the toughest, at least 25 miles, a uh, classic and a 5k all over the weekend. So I've done the tougher, done the toughest, done the 5k, and then later on this morning I'm doing the 10 mile classic, and then that's me done for the Unholy Grail. Wow, absolutely. What was the hardest part out there for you? Um, hardest part. Block Ness, actually, but for me, I'm relatively short. So they, they this this weekend, they put a little bit too much water in. So I'm I'm tiptoeing to keep my head just above water. And if they put in the normal amount of water, I can normally jump and, and pull up myself. Uh, but with the water a bit deeper, I, I needed help this this time around. So that's why I felt, felt it was difficult. Devil's Beard, for those that don't know, just nets, cargo nets, five in a row. Um, that it's not difficult but again it's just attrition and you know by the fourth fifth time you're just going oh, I don't want to do this for another lap um, after your four laps you get a, wrist, a tough mudder wristband and that allows you to bypass any obstacle straight away from my fifth lap devil's beard <laughs> mate I am bypassing this best thing I have actually done all weekend I'm Linda Johnson and I'm from Northampton Fantastic. And we normally see you at Spartan Race, am I right, Linda? Yeah, definitely. So, what's been around you come to Tough Mudder today? Because it was a last minute decision. When you popped up, there was a few nervous bumps, shall we say? Um, basically, to get back into endurance racing, I'm down to do Spartan Ultra in America. Right. The Spartan Ultra Champs. So, I decided to jump on this just to check I can still run through the night. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can because you proved well, it. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, just see if I've still got it there and I still enjoy it as much as I always have. And yeah, it's, um, it's been a great laugh. Second place. Yeah. You know, well done. Congratulations on that. So, um, what, what, do you, what, was, what do you think to Tough Mudder than the endurance race? Oh, I absolutely love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's proper true grit. This the amount of water on course. Um, yeah, you've got to be prepared for it. You've got to know what you're doing. You've got to get the right kit on, and it is proper. Yeah, grit your teeth, get through it, get through the water. There's a lot of water out on course. So yeah, brilliant. brilliant. We'll see you next year. Do we think? Yeah. Right. <laughs>